Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit www.godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic, Olaxis, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Croatian, Dutch, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Romanian, Russian, Spanish, and Thai. Isten hozta, szívélyesen üdvözlöm jó szívű nézőinket! A nevem Mátka Tuzséról, a gazdag kultúrájú Magyarországról. Magyarország 93 ezer négyzetkilométeren terül el Közép-Európában. Egy rendkívül szép ország, mély kulturális gyökerekkel. Az Európa közepén, kelet és nyugat útkereszteződésében fekvő Magyarország nem csak sikeresen beolvasztotta azon országok tulajdonságait és kultúráját, melyek egykor meghódították, hanem a környező népek igazi olvasztó tégejévé vált. Fővárosa a Duna gyöngyének tartott Budapest, a magyar nemzet életének szíve. A világhírű Duna folyó mindkét partján terül el. Minden évben a világ minden részéről özönlenek a látogatók ebbe a bájos és felejthetetlen városba. A magyarok híresek virtuó zenéjükről, a tánc iránti hatalmas vonzalmukról és nyílt szívűségükről. Nagy élvezet megosztani önökkel Magyarország iránti szeretetünket. Örömöt, békét és harmóniát kívánunk önöknek a mennyből. Ma műsorunk második részét mutatjuk be, melynek címe a világ erőforrásainak megőrzése. További nyelvek elérhetők online, az ön konkrét nyelvéért kérjük látogasson el ide www.supremeistertv.com per subtitles. Csinkháj legfelsőbb mester isteni tanításával több mint három évtizede világítja be világunkat. Egy teljesen megvilágosodott mester, aki a meditáció kvanyin módszerét átadja azoknak, akik szeretnék azonnal felfedezni a belső isteni természetet és egy élettartam alatt elérni az örök megszabadulást a lélekvándorlás ciklusából. A kvanyin módszer gyakorolta az összes megvilágosodott mester, mint Buddha, Jézus Krisztus, Mohamed próféta, béke legyen vele, és Guru Nanak. A mester hangsúlyozza, hogy ha mindig emlékezünk Istenre, önzetlenül szolgálunk másokat, és betartjuk az univerzum törvényeit, akkor emberként el fogjuk érni legmagasabb képességünket, és igazán megértjük célunkat a Földön. Csinkháj legfelsőbb mester a könyörület rendkívüli élő példája. Rendszeresen küld anyagi és pénzbeli segítséget és szeretetét is menekülteknek, hajléktalanoknak, természeti katasztrófák áldozatainak és más rászorulóknak. 2006-ban megkapta a Gusi békedíjat, amit a Kelet Nobel békedíjának tartanak, és az évek során számos díjjal és kitüntetéssel jutalmazták kiemelkedő emberbaráti és humanitárius tevékenységéért. Gyönyörű állatbarátaink igazi hangjaként a békés és szeretetteljes növényi alapú étrendet hirdeti. Ahogy az emberiség az összes élet szentségére ráébred, ő előre látja a békés és dicsőséges teljesen vegán világot, ahol állatok és emberek áldott harmóniában élnek. Kezdeményezései a vegán irányzat terjesztésére sokrétűek, 
közéjük tartozik az alternatív életmód szórólap osztása, a Loving Hut nemzetközi vegán étteremlánc és a Supremeister TV. Továbbá rendszeresen beszél befolyásos kormány és médiavezetőkkel, és részt vesz televízión közvetített klímaváltozás konferenciákon, akár tudunk róla, akár nem. Erőfeszítéseinek óriási hatása volt az állatbarát életmód globális ismertségére és arra, hogy a létezés e jótékony módja hogyan hozhatja el a nemzetek közti tartós békét, miközben megmenti bolygónkat a klímaváltozástól. Az évek során Csinkháj legfelsőbb mester beutazta a világot Amerikától Afrikáig, Európától Óceániáig, és sokféle spirituális témában beszélgetések százai tartotta a nagy közönséggel és tanítványaival. Ma abban az áldásban van részünk, hogy egy ilyen mély gondolatokat tartalmazó előadást mutathatunk be. A világ erőforrásainak megőrzése második rész címmel a mester és tanítványok közt adásában elhangzott angolul 2013. július 15-én Franciaországban. In Mongolia, do they have only grassland? Where do you find the wood? Uh, we have uh, so much coal. Down. Coal, but from the coal mines? Coal mines. We have uh, lots of coal. Ah, so you we do have, the mining. Uh, resources. Lots of resources of ah. coal, gold, uh, Yeah, it lasts, it lasts forever? Every the coal? I don't mind the gold, I don't care about the coal. <laughs> coal is... Lasts forever? A lot of yeah. yeah, because you have only three million people. And you all live in city now with the central heating. But if all these uh, Mongols were going there <laughs> and living the gear and every day they put the heater on, then the coal will be gone in no time. Too many people. Yeah. We have enough space. Enough space, yeah. yeah. Enough, enough coal, coal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Every country tell me that, <laughs> but uh, I don't know, our planet is, uh, even though we saved it, but uh, we have to stop abusing it, you know, I mean, all the people, not, not just us, but we human, the human has to stop abusing it, because uh, the ocean are the one that give us also at least 50% of the oxygen, yes? Uh, because of the plankton, yeah, that uh, produce oxygen in the ocean, and then it's uh, affecting us as well, 50% of it at least. But then uh, now, because we disturb the ecosystem in the ocean, with so many fish gone and almost gone, and so the, the cycle of uh, ecosystem in the ocean is greatly disturbed. So there's therefore many dead zones and many uh, coral dead areas, and the fish are supposed to be there to regulate the population of the the, the sea. is almost not there anymore, and the one is not supposed to be there are uh, overpopulation now, and it might endanger more than just uh, dead zone. It will also affect us in many in many terrible way. I don't know what all the governments are doing, if they really know what endangers our planet, what endangers our lives. They should inform all the people and put a stop to it. But I don't know, the government seems to react very slow or too conservatively. It's, it's a very uh, terrible situation. And I don't know how long this oil and stuff will last for us to fuel our cars. And even the biofuel, like uh, you making a, a sugarcane plantation to use as biofuel, is also affect uh, the agriculture for food in some ways. And how long can we even plant sugar canes? And how much sugar cane can we plant in the future? to supply all this. And while I'm telling you to turn off all the standby wherever not necessary, 
You think I'm just,、uh, how you say, trying to save my money. It's not like that. Not even your money. It's not like that. Because our electricity here in this city, in this country, also came from nuclear power. And that is also not a very safe way to live with. Understand? You see、uh, Fukushima in Japan, for example, yeah? Or Chernobyl. Yes, etc. Because、uh, any nuclear plant will get old in time, yeah. And sometimes things happen. The wall crack, or and then、uh, some toxin will leak out into the river, into the land. And then we all have to share these consequences. Understand? And sometimes, if some people are brave enough to go in there to show their point, to to. To call attention to the government to do something or to shut it, and when it's too old or something, they might get jailed and get treat, treated harshly. For example, understand me? But、um, even it, it's not happening yet, but it could have happened any time. So therefore, it's not like okay, we have a lot of money, we could use electricity as much as we want because we pay for it. It's not that, okay? Whatever you use,、uh, consider the world resource, not not your money. Yeah, everything we are using belong to the whole world, even if you pay for it.、Yes. You really have to consider that everything we use. Belong to the whole world, the world resource. Yes, even the clothes we wear, the cotton, the seeds. So, it's not that I'm telling you to be ascetic or anything, but you should consider always all the effort that has been put into whatever we use and all the resources that must be utilized in order to give us comfortable life. Yeah, so the less. Uh, we spend the world resource the better. No matter how much money you have, money you have, I know that. But you have to consider the world property. Okay, use the less as possible. Even in in the center, yeah. Nobody check you, nobody control you, but you just turn off the light when you don't need, yeah. Because at night sometimes I walk around two, three o'clock in the morning. I will still see some light upstairs. Nobody in a room, just the light on. Why is that? If if you are not there, you turn off the light. The next person come in, he can always turn on the light if he needs. Okay. When you walk around, you can have this、uh, telephone or flashlight. Eh? The cell phone. I also use the cell phone to walk around here. You see it? I have the phone for. <laughs> It's a simple phone, but it has a light on when you. You put it next to the road. You can see it enough to walk on and not disturbing other people who meditate. Whatever I tell you, I do the same. Okay. Except the clothes, I don't wear the same. <laughs> what What is this clothes here? It look nice anyway. Who Who bought this? Is it from Indonesia? Look like a batik or something. Yeah. Indonesia, huh? A lot of flower. Ah, <laughs>、uh, yeah. I don't feel like working, so if wearing this, I feel like I'm on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> vacation, feel nicer. No, actually, actually,、um, sometimes they buy a lot of clothes and hang in there. All the clothes that I designed before for sale, and it's still hanging there in 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 the garderobe. And so I just、uh, take whatever <laughs> next to it, next to you know when I'm walking, one is next to it, I take it and then wear it.、Uh, so simple. But if nobody wash my clothes, I told you already. <laughs> yeah, and I have two options. I don't come out, <laughs> or I come out <laughs> as it is. Yeah, natural woman. <laughs> There's a machine, you know, just to put in there and、uh, put soap, and then it will wash. You don't even need to wash it. And only I am the one that I need to go out to wear. If not,、uh, the one in the house, no need ironing nothing. Just wash it clean. That's it. I never iron my clothes in the house. Do you? Yeah. 
No, no need. Yeah. In, in, inside the house, you don't need. What for? You know, even if I iron my clothes, who iron my wrinkle? You know? <laughs> she said, I have to march, you know? <laughs> there was a joke I told you before, remember? Uh, there was one, one uh, senior citizen's uh, uh, village where all the people after 60 something go there leave you know i supposed to go there already but uh, <laughs> but i postponed <laughs> postponed it for you uh, there was a village there all the senior citizen you know above 60 70 live together there and then one day a couple uh, husband and wife elderly a few bored you know with routine every day they're so bored they say, okay let's do something different today yeah so they both say okay I have an idea. Both of us take off all the clothes and walk around the street, walk around the village. <laughs> okay? The husband say that, the woman say okay. So both of them take off all their clothes and walk around, you know, in all splendor, you know, around the street, <laughs> the village. And then there were some people walk, watching from the balcony. They say, oh, is that uh, John and Lisa there? And the the you know, and other couple, and then the wife said, yeah, yeah, they are. And then the husband said, but what are they doing today? They don't even iron their clothes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> but you heard that before, no? <laughs> How come? It probably on some of the tape, you didn't hear anything. You always expect new things. But you, I don't mean you should hear that joke, but <laughs> that comes with many other things. You know, sometimes I tell you joke to make things lighter, you know, not too serious. Yes. And if you remember the joke because it makes you happy, then you remember other related things. Okay? But. Uh, uh, I don't mean you should listen to that joke for, on that tape, in that tape, but I mean you should uh, listen to other tape, you know, old, old tape, so that you, you know, your mind knows a little bit more about theory, okay? And then you practice them, not just waiting for me to tell you new things when the old thing you don't even know, especially new people. Hmm? And even if you uh, don't know the new things, but you practice all the old tapes, talk that I told you, that would be enough to live on, okay? You have to make it into your uh, nature, yeah? no, na nature, a way of life. Not just listen, listen from here and then go down there, and listen in here and then they went to Mongolia <laughs> in the gear. <laughs> okay, so uh, you want to tell me something nice? Hmm? From your area, your country, your center? Long time no see? Yeah, let's say something nice. Mongolia, yeah. Ulaanbaatar? Actually, we are very lucky to see you today. Why? <laughs> because some of uh, our brothers and sisters never seen you before. Uh -huh. So it's first time f for some of the yeah, brothers and sisters. Yeah, but why so lucky? <laughs> Because <laughs> everybody can see me, you know, whenever I appear. Today we all we all can see our most beautiful masters. You, you look so young and you oh. look so beautiful I, and I iron. <laughs> <laughs> iron the wrinkle. <laughs> Thank you, love. Thank you. So you haven't seen my uh, video tape or photo before? At least no? we we have seen but in person. Some of our ne some of our brothers and sisters never have seen before you. The same. Huh? <laughs> it's so nice to see you. Actually, we have some spiritual good news yeah. from Mongolian Center. So, uh, last two three years, um, many brothers and sisters could go to Sihu Ashram mm. uh, because. Uh, uh, before we were having economic crisis, so now last two, two three years, it's uh, it's getting better. So uh, the salary 
increasing. Uh, increasing now? Yeah, it's getting better. So uh, people can get enough salary mm -hmm. and they can afford to go to overseas. Mm. For example, uh, in the special days like during uh, Asian Lunar New Year and May, on the occasion of your birthday... You go to see uh, who? Yeah, we, we go to see who What as for? many... To celebrate your birthday. Um, and you can celebrate in Mongolia and save your money. I wasn't there. What for you go there? If I'm there, you could go. If I'm not there, what for? Hmm? Save your money next time, okay? So we can go as many as uh, often. <laughs> yeah, It's well, what, very what for? big and huge progress for us. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What do you get there? Are the trees bless you? <laughs> and the stream water, <laughs> huh? Of course, there are some loving uh, energy there, yeah. Of course, yeah. but uh, if you're sincere and practice at home, you will feel the same. Okay, you can save your money and practice more in these hours <laughs> instead. Before I said already, if we don't have a retreat somewhere with. Uh, my present, then you should stay home, save your money. <laughs> and then when you can, then you go. Hmm? Like now, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yes. So that you can uh, tell me things or ask me questions for your spiritual practice. That's the reason you come, yeah? Uh, also to see my beautiful young face, of course. <laughs> I am well. <laughs> Yeah, I put myself in the washing machine, tumble right it, <laughs> and then I. <laughs> That's good news. Similar. <laughs> More good news. Actually, it was really difficult to come here before. Now uh, we can afford to come. Mm, too expensive or? Now it's visa fine. Problem? Now visa is visa issuing is getting better, ah. so that's why we are here. Oh really? In two two or three years before, it was really difficult. Difficult? Yeah. Why? Because too much paper document, and oh. uh, of course we need to have a bank account, bank statement. Oh, so good, it huh? was so difficult. Oh. For now, every situation is getting easier. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, it was before. Yeah. Now it's fine. Now don't need bank account. Just go empty pocket. Of course we need. <laughs> <laughs> we need to show bank bank account, but. Uh, now uh, the economy is getting better. How economic. much do you have to show the bank account? Oh, uh, it depends on the country. So European country, when we apply visa, we need to have our our one thousand US dollar. One thousand US dollar in account. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. How long can you spend one thousand dollars anyway? What 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 kind of security is that? <laughs> Because. Um, When we have two weeks uh, travel, ah, oh, that's one thousand. Yeah, they calculate. Every day we need to pay our fifty euro. Ah, uh -huh. so our two weeks, one uh, thousand US dollar is uh -huh. enough. Okay, understand. So only thing we need to show to embassy is is our trip uh, days mm -hmm. and bank account. That's it. Oh. so that's why it's getting easier. Oh, I'm so sorry, but before that, a lot of Mongolian came here. Yeah, last two years is getting easier. Yeah. Oh, I see. Oh, I'm so sorry. I told you that's why if we have a country, you all can come. No need visa. Yeah. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, lastly we heard that Germany and Mongolian cooperation is getting better. Ah. So, uh, very soon German people can go to Mongolia without visa. One oh. one month. Uh huh. So it would be much easier. So in reverse, Mongolian can go to Germany. Ah, that's why you go to Germany and then drive here. Yeah. Oh. So we are waiting that But why chance. Berlin? Somewhere nearer. Wouldn't be better? Well, nowhere is near, right? It's the same. Munich is nearer? I don't know. Germany <laughs> is getting more beautiful. People's yeah. mind is changing, Better. no worries, Master. Uh, Our living yeah. and everything is <laughs> Yeah, okay. Uh, now, in Mongolian, people's mm. mind is really changing. Mm. And the government, uh, people is now more talking about clean food, healthy food, yeah. I mean. And orga more orga people want to spend more in organic food stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, 
they also talk about not only uh, mining, they now talk about the green economy, mm. how we to save our country, mm. the certification, uh, other issues. Mm. Now people are more caring about that. And this is, means people's is soul is elevated mm. and that they make uh, good decisions. Yes, I know. Better decisions. And su support uh, <sighs> this kind of green things very well from, from the government side. Oh, yeah? Yeah, because mm. uh, I work in private sector. I have a company, but uh, we work with the NGOs, governments, to do uh, public activities. Mm. We created the association, yeah, yeah, yeah. center. Yeah. I have a marketing research company. All types of the market and oh. social research. And, and it uh, works well? Yeah, it works well. And the recent uh, study tells me a very interesting thing. Because mm -hmm. uh, it was ab about people's uh, uh, attitude on the health issue. Yeah. And younger age and older age. The interesting result uh, was the um, young people, young generation is more concerning about healthy food yeah. than the old generation. Wow, you know why? Because they do a lot of research on internet and they're yeah, more maybe. interested. So we now targeted the youth to change their mind and change the society yeah, yeah. into the vegan. It's better like that. <laughs> then the young people begin a movement. It uh, lasts longer because they're younger and they yeah. live longer. huh? Yeah. Mm. Because the uh, elder generation, they already used to with the tradition and their way of habit, habitual living, you know? But young people, they are more enthusiastic, more excited, and more open. Yeah? They look into the internet and say, oh, this is no good, that's not good. But old people, they already settle, you know, they don't, <laughs> don't look. That's why. Mm. They're good. You go to university or school or you give the leaflet or tell, people, tell the children. Yeah? And also, Taiwanese brothers and sisters helped us to organize uh, vegan events, and the cook uh, trainings and things is going well through your blessing. Thank you uh, so much, Master. Good. Okay, Thank you. I'm happy for you. There are many uh, research already in America or elsewhere proving that the vegan diets are very healthy for people. It could reverse cancer and heart disease and all kind of things already. You know that we show it on Supreme Master TV, yeah? Mm. It's from the physicians, yeah? Not, not just from us, no? from real scientists and physicians of the world. They have do a lot of report already. Maybe you can print them out and give it to people. A lot of people, they like everything from America. Oh, yeah, yeah, it must be correct. <laughs> because it's already proven, you know? It's not like America only, but it's proven. And Americans are mostly very advanced in this kind of research. And uh, they only tell you the result when it's already proven. Very good. Continue. Yeah. Thank you, Master. Continue your job. <laughs> Veg, the diet of medical doctors. The only individual action, which is a no-brainer, and we all ought to be doing it, is just to stop eating meat. If you make this kind of profound change, you should expect profound changes in your physical appearance, your activity levels, the way you appear as far as age is concerned. Once you become vegan, your mind clears up, your spirit clears up, all that karmic negative energy of being involved, eating dead animals, clears out of your system. I realized that an animal-based diet was not a helpful thing, no matter what I had learned in school and in our farm growing up. Our bodies are, are not designed to handle animal foods. One patient, she was wheeled into the uh, office in the exam room by her husband. And uh, she had had quadruple bypass surgery. She had had a stent placed in one of the arteries subsequent to surgery. Uh, she was on 21 medications, had a history of diabetes. She was on insulin. She had arthritis. Uh, she was on an oxygen tank. Uh, was just discharged from the hospital. She had had some bladder infection and some other issues. Our research shows several benefits of a vegan diet. Very gradually, very gently, your blood sugar cart starts coming down. Your weight comes down as well. Blood cholesterol comes down as well, very impressively. And blood pressure comes down as well. Your digestion is better. 
So a person who's had chronic constipation, that's usually fixed in about 24 to 48 hours. It's that quick. We came back in 10 days. She was walking, talking, laughing, no wheelchair, no oxygen, etc. Neil Barnard, MD. Antenna Robin, MD. Peter Carter, MD. Rabbi Gabriel Cousins, MD. Zarin Patel, MD. Gulam Alibeski, MD. Alexander Dargatz, MD. Luciana Baroni, MD. Umberto Veronesi, MD. Caldwell Esselston, MD. Baxter Montgomery, MD. David Ride, MD. They are some of the countless noble examples of compassion and wisdom. To prevent, both prevent and treat diabetes, the best thing we can do is move um, very rapidly to a vegan diet. There was a man who came into our study named Vance. It seemed to him like the easiest diet in the world because he didn't have to limit how much he ate. Well, as time went on, he lost weight, he lost weight, he lost weight. After a year, he had lost 60 pounds. Wow. His blood sugar, which had been out of control, came down so much his doctor sat him down and said, Vance, you've been on this diet. You don't have diabetes anymore. His doctor took him off his medicine. Now what's the optimum diet? It's your, again, your organic, vegan, 80% live food. The difference between vegans and meat eaters in the United States is an average of 40 pounds. A new study published in the Journal of the American Diabetic Association, the largest study of vegans in human history. Never before have thousands of vegans been studied at one time. And what it showed was that the only dietary group that actually achieved a healthy weight, in fact, the perfect healthy weight, was the vegans. I wish someone had told me in medical school how effective a, a plant-based diet would be for real live diseases. So keep in good company with the noble circle of vegetarian and vegan elite. The truth of this is so powerful. It's a simple message. The first and the foremost thing anybody can do is be vegan. There's nothing complicated about this. It's one big solution. You have to give it a try. And once you experience the benefits, it's unthinkable to go back. And the most exciting thing of all is that the benefits do nothing but continue to improve. There's one regret that sometimes people have. They regret that they didn't do this about 20 years earlier because to be in a body that feels healthy, it's the best possible thing. And the list goes on. Please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash VE for further club list and info. Be veg now and join the club. Wow, how work, eh? Mongolian, huh? Small population and big land, huh? Most people uh, concentrate now on the city or not? They don't yeah. go countryside anymore. Yeah, 60% uh, of all population live in the city. 40% do farming or not? Uh, yeah, some is farming. This is a nice to live in such a big country, huh? <laughs> a lot of space, yeah? Monday you go here, Tuesday you go there, <laughs> Wednesday you go there. You should, don't feel pressure, no? Big, big country, but uh, a lot of desert, huh? A lot of desert. It's a pity. <laughs> but never mind, you have enough land still, right? Three million people, enough, yeah? <laughs> okay, thank you thank for you very much trying so hard. Yeah. Mongolia, Mongolia, huh? <laughs> you want some Mongolia? Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't look like it looks like Chinese. <laughs> it looks like Chinese. He look he is typical. Huh? Mongolian face. Typical, yeah? yeah? No. Mongolian has more high cheekbone, no? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> All the people come today, not typical Mongolian. 
Huh? Name? Uh, they look like Chinese. Chinese, huh? Oh, okay. They are Mongolian. I, I remember they have more, more bigger cheekbone huh? here. Mm. <laughs> it's true, it's, it's true. It's true, yeah. yeah. So you don't look like any of them. I don't, I don't look like. <laughs> Today, no Mongolian around, huh? <laughs> Maybe mixed with Chinese, right? Or Japanese, Japanese. <laughs> he looked like Japanese, huh? <laughs> right? <laughs> A little bit. No, I don't care. I'm just joking. I don't care. Whatever you look, you're fine. Yes, you're wonderful. Mm. I like Mongolian very much. Yes. I'm from Canada. Yes. And um, the rules for any harm being done to animals, well, not in the food chain, but in the other things, are really strict, and they're yeah. getting more strict, and they actually put people in jail if they do anything bad to an animal. Oh, you so mean I'm, wild animal or domestic, um, like dogs or something? Yes. Yeah. Well, even wild. Yeah. Even wild, oh. yeah. Not as much, but uh, yeah. the domestic. Yeah. But that's not... This, I'm happy about that. But, yeah. um, Italian, they do that long ago. Yes. In Italy, if you run, run uh, over an animal, a wild animal on the highway, and you don't bring him or her to the hospital. They cut you, they jail wow. you, and fine, wow. fine money and jail. And if you rent a room, and the landlord don't rent it to you because you have a pet, like dog, cat, whatever, then you can sue him, <laughs> you can sue the landlord. Yeah, yeah, yeah the law protect yeah. the animals so much, and protect the animal lovers as well. Yeah. Wonderful, I love Italian. <laughs> we have a little bit of that with the rental. There's a I, I think something. all the countries should do the same, like Italy. Hmm? And in Italy, we have the best, one of, one of the rare best uh, dog food, vegan dog food and vegan cat food even. Wow. And all the veg, veggie bone from Italy are vegan. Wonderful. But Wonderful I have country. a very touching story. It's, yeah. uh, this, that there was a horse that was going to be... Um, uh, I guess, put down because the owner couldn't keep him. So this lady um, said, no, I want the horse, I'll take it. Yeah. And she, she's not a farmer or anything, she just built a small little barn behind her house, mm. and um, she got the horse, yeah. and she brought it there, and she put him in the barn, and she organized her house um, with the, the kitchen window opens whenever the horse wants to get in <laughs> and eat or drink. Uh -huh. <laughs> and and he, she said, he doesn't think he's a horse, so he doesn't like the barn. He uh -huh. sleeps in the garage right beside her house. <laughs> and not only that, he won't let her on his back. No? <laughs> no. Why? He doesn't think he's a horse, she says. <laughs> And there's so much love. Mm. I saw the internet, and there's just there's just so much love between this horse mm. and this lady. Yeah. It's just unbelievable. Yes. And she even has a phone by the kitchen sink, mm. and if it rings, the horse picks it up, <laughs> 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 and she comes and <laughs> answers. It's so funny. It's so touching. Okay. It's just and yes. it's just it's like a, a new buddy for both of them. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Uh, actually, I don't like the idea of riding horses so much. You know, when I was younger, I tried it uh, a couple of times. Uh, but of course, I'm small, you know, and the horse doesn't mind too much. But I've seen some giant people go on the horse. Oh, I feel so sorry for the horse. Yeah. And then um, some, some other country, or in some even civilized country, they use horse carriage and all that, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And the horse, one horse, have to carry about ten people mm -hmm. on the cart in the cart behind it, like in India, for example. And if you go on the horse, you feel terrible. If you don't go, you feel terrible too, because that, that means he doesn't earn enough money to to buy food for the horse as well, and so that family yeah. too. I just feel so bad either way, you know. And uh, even people are riding on the horse; it look very nice and romantic, but. One person may be okay, you know, but too many yeah. and big you know, is not very good. Yes. If I have a horse, I probably won't ride on him. I would just pet him and give him food from the kitchen. Like You would like this horse then? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably I would. It just And now dogs are already a lot of work. <laughs> Last night I have some bad karma come into the cave and so Thousand, ten thousand of ants went in there. I don't know when. I came back 
Uh, this cave, so many years, no problem. And this time, come back, so thousands of ants inside. So we cannot, uh, we can stay in one little corner and the other part are occupied by ants. And, and my dogs, uh, and I have to spray a little anti-insect so they don't go into the other side, the corner. But then the dog gets sick, um, too sensitive, you know. And I had to wake up and clean up the house and uh, all kind of things. Uh, this is a trouble when some people are not very pure come come and repair in my house or a cave or something or enter in it for a while. They bring in insects and I told you already before with flies. And this time fly flying ants. Well, not only they crawl on the ceiling, they fly all over. And and I have to put up a curtain, you know? I have to to cover one part, but they still come in sometimes. So I have to spray a little bit of a natural insect insect repellent. Still, the dog gets sick, vomit. So I think having animals is a lot of work too. Horse is not too much work. He's outside, eh? <laughs> but dogs, they, they won't let. They don't stay outside. They come and knock in the door, scratch in the window. Let me in. Let me in. <laughs> if I'm inside, they won't stay outside. You would think dogs love to have a kilometers long garden to run around on. They don't run anywhere. They go, I'll leave their leg quick, quick and come back. <laughs> yeah, horse won't do that. Horse is more simple, right? He stay in their barn or maybe garage, whatever, but... And then go pick up the phone in the kitchen. <laughs> My dogs do pick up phone too and drooling all over. Oh, God. <laughs> I have to take it, clean it, wash it. And when I clean and wash too much, then it doesn't work, kaput. It's too wet. <laughs> A lot of help from animals. <laughs> so, so what? What now with the horse? They are together, okay? Then? That's it. I just That's thought it. I'd share it with you. It's such, so touching. Uh, very nice. Yes, yeah. I'm sure if you see it on the internet, it would be more touchy, huh? Yeah. This she shared on the internet, right? A friend sent it to me, and then uh -huh. I sent it to everybody on my email uh -huh. two years ago, and it's gone. Oh, oh I see. Like, Should have go there and take picture. Yes, it's true. Okay, never mind. It's good. Thank you. Anyone else? Can I read you a poem that I wrote? Okay. <laughs> it's called, um, Let Me Paint the World with Colors of Poetry. Where to begin when words taught it between these lips in this world limitation? How do you speak the beauty that it truly is? May artistic talents with heaven grace be gifted to glorify his creation on earth that manifested. If I may be able to paint the world with colors of poetry, every line shall glorify love Every word I speak of thee, every curve that landscaped, it's holy and just, for every mark given, it represents Eden on earth. Every space in between is an exquisite songs of the sea. Even the darkest shadow reminds the kingdom of God within me. To every question, there's clarified understanding, and for every period will be the end of suffering. The most astounding eloquence, oh, I have lost words to nature let alone you, my beloved, how were I ever? With the touch of your magnificence, all fish turn dragons, casting a glance into hell. Lost souls will be liberated to higher realm they have fully incarnated. When words are no longer needed in thoughts, I still think of you, because love will always find me, your love, the love that gives color to poetry. Is that's it? it? Yeah, that's wow. it. Beautiful. Thank you. I love Thank you, Master. Thank you very much for your love and your poem. Very lovely poem. You must have felt so beautiful to have written like that. <laughs> it's not as good as yours. <laughs> no, come on. <laughs> no, it's no compare. Your feeling is precious, and you put it down in poetry is precious, okay? We don't compare which one's better than what. It's not like that. No, no. It's your real feeling, and that's what counts. Very nice, beautiful. Thank, Thank you, Master. You have talent. Where from? Um, New Jersey. New Jersey has talent, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
csodálatra méltó nézők! Köszönjük, hogy megtekintik a mai programunkat, melynek címe a világ erőforrásainak megőrzése második rész, a mester és tanítványok közt adásában. Következik a szikvallás Szent Guru Grand Sahibjából Gurunanak, a 331. oldaltól a 353. oldalig második rész a Bölcs Szavak műsorában. Ön és szerettei élvezzenek tartós harmóniát és békességet. További részletekért kérjük látogasson el ide www.supremeistertv.com per BMD.